In this video, we're going to be taking a look at referencing other queries. So as in our last video, we looked at parameters which improved our usability, as in rather than having lots of static links to a file, just storing that link in one parameter. What we're going to do is, well, actually, let's just jump into the example rather than overcomplicate it. If we go to tasks and go to source, we know that all of our three queries at the moment are repeating this same step. So they're all going out to the Excel workbook individually and pulling through the contents of the file to then pull uh, through the required filtering uh, for that query. However, what we can do is recreate this step in a separate uh, query and then all of our three other queries just refer to that new query. So like I say, I'm, I'm weary of not making this more complicated than it is. But all I'm going to simply do is just go to change type at the end there. Uh, I'm going to right click on tasks and simply we're going to go down to duplicate. So by duplicating, uh, we, we get all of the same steps from that query. Just to touch on this, because it's worth doing now, because I've mentioned the word reference. If I was to right click and went down to reference, you can see it's created another query but we don't have the steps. All it is simply done is used the previous query, so our tasks, as our first step and our source. And you can see it's been referenced up here by tasks. And similarly, this is what we're gonna do with our uh, new query once we've got it to a state that we're ready. So let's just delete task three. Yep, yeah, we delete that. And let's go instead to tasks two. <clears throat> and what I want to do here is just delete all of these LAN steps. So let's go remove these columns, change type, promoted headers, and also navigation. So we simply get to this very first step, which is source, which is the process of going to our workbook and getting the contents of that file. So what I'm gonna do is rename this query. Let's call this Power BI underscore data and hit enter. So we can now see that this query acts as our source for all of those other queries. Now, all that we need to do is if we go to tasks and go to our source step, in here we can get rid of all of this and simply enter Power BI. And you can see the last option there is that query we just now created. So if I do that and hit enter, it's obviously going to think about it, but it looks like nothing's happened. But what has in fact happened is it's referencing the query outputs here rather than creating another instance of going out to that same file. And we'll just go to change type there to get everything to load. We can go into our customers option now and go into source, remove all of this and just enter Power BI data, hit enter. And again, we can double check everything's working by going to the last step. And lastly, we'll go to comments source, and then we'll go into change Power BI data. There we go, hit enter. And then we can go to the last step once again to make sure everything is updated. And what I'll just do is have a reorder over this side. So we'll drag parameter to the top. We'll drag Power BI data to second position, and then everything else looks okay. So just to step through this now to give logic to the process, we have a single point at which we need to enter our file path, which is our parameter. That produces for us a source data query, call it, which gives us all of the tables or sheets in our scenario available in that file. And now all of our subsequent queries applicable to this uh, output are also referencing that Power BI data. So what this does, it just gives you a lot tidier way of working. You're not connecting to the same file multiple times. And also, should there be a problem with this output here, you only need to make the amendment once, rather than if all your separate queries were connecting to it, you may need to put a fix in multiple times. So I hope, hopefully that was fairly straightforward in my explanation and you can understand the power of doing this. Of course, as you add more queries to this and maybe more source files, it really helps you sort of structure your queries a lot better. So as always, now may be a good time if you haven't been already following along, have a try at doing that yourself. Uh, and just familiarize yourself with referencing uh, these additional queries. If you have any questions at all with this or future videos, please just drop a comment below the applicable video and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And lastly, 
If you do enjoy these videos, please don't forget to hit that like button. It's not only greatly appreciated by me, but it does help that all important YouTube algorithm enabling other people to also find these videos as well.